guys, Steffi here from The Makers. I'm here to show you how to wrap wool around pipe cleaner, mainly um, wool tops, uh, to make a smooth finish, but it's all also going to turn into a chameleon's curly tail. So if you um, if you've got our makers box for August 2023, this might be a really useful technique for you to learn of how to use pipe cleaners and wool tops if you've never used it before. And um, there will be other techniques following um, in how to make the legs of the chameleon and how to put the um, body body wire with the tail and the legs together to make sort of a base for the rest of the chameleon to build on. So let's start by making um, this curly whirly tail here and for this you have um, in in your box it doesn't matter whether you use um, the pipe cleaners that are in the box which are all yellow um, or whether you use any other pipe cleaners I'm gonna stick with yellow and um, you will need some of the um, the colorful wool tops that will come in your in your um, um, makers box this is the Flower Garden um, Australian Merino Space Dye. It's really lovely. I'm going to go straight to the overhead camera so I can show you what I'm doing here. So you're going to have to tease off some wool bits here. Um, sorry, I just need to adjust my overhead camera. It's got a little bit wonky. And uh, to do this, there are different ways of how to take wool off a wool top. So in this occasion, we want to take off strands. So we're going to tease them off lengthways. Uh, it's always best to work with small quantities, don't overdo it. Uh, later on, when we get to covering the body, which um, I will show you too, is you are going to tease the wool off like this. So you're going to get wispy, shorter strands of wool, but that's not what we need to do right now. Right now we're splitting the wool lengthways so that we get thinner strands. Now um, I'm going to follow the instructions as they are here written down. Um, but basically you're going to allow the wool to grip into that pipe cleaner. Now this is a cotton covered pipe cleaner. Um, sorry, just went out of the picture there. We also do these in white. The yellow ones are very specific to this particular project. And you are going to have to allow the wool to always grip into that um, cover whether it's a cotton covered pipe cleaner or a chenille pipe cleaner. But notice what I'm doing is I'm folding the wool over. I'm not really holding on to it and doing this because if you can see what happens is that you are twisting the wool and you're gonna get little sausages wrapping around the pipe cleaner. That is not what we're wanting to do. We don't want to twist the wool. We want it to stay nice and flat um, so that when you fold it over, the, the width of the wool will always grip into that pipe cleaner. So you're going to begin wrapping um, one layer over the pipe cleaner. So sometimes if you find it easier to have a shorter length um, of wool strand, then um, do that with a shorter length. Sometimes also what people naturally do is once you wrap wool, you actually turn the whole thing over and you twist the pipe cleaner and allow the wool to slip through your finger. Now you're going to do this for about 22 centimeters along the pipe cleaner. So the whole pipe cleaner, one whole pipe cleaner, which is um, 30 centimeters, you're going to cover um, 22 centimeters with the first layer of this wool. So it's quite a long, a long way you've got to go. It's definitely worth taking your time and being thorough rather than rushing this. When you get to the end, allow the wool to grip in. Now what I do is I turn the pipe cleaner around straight away again because important is that you are continuing to wrap the wool in the same direction as you started out. Just torn off a strand but I want it a little bit thinner. So because it's in the right way I know that if I start up with this end I know that this is the direction of the wool that I've um, wrapped the wool around the pipe cleaner before, just get it established, then turn it over and I'm still going to twist my pipe cleaner. It's a really good way to get this wool on there nice and even and you don't, you're not even tempted to twist the wool. So on the instructions you have your tape measure, so measure, I just measure 8 centimeters down because I know it's 30 centimeters long, I'm wrapping 20 centimeters, so therefore I, um, I need 8 centimeters of the pipe cleaner left over at the end. And then I'm going over it again because you're trying to make this shape slightly tapered now as the um, tail base is broader than the tail end. And I'm going to 
wrap the wool around it until I'm back at the end. So that's how far I got at the moment. Now I'm going to the next page because you're going to build up that um, layer of wool now so that you've got um, a thicker part here and a slimmer part there. And the measurements of um, where you need to be with, um, let's just have a look, uh, how thick is this gonna be? So it's gonna be about 1.5 centimeters at the tail uh, base and about 0.5 centimeters here at the very end. I've also got one of our little tape measures here, so I'm going to use that to measure the thickness now. So I'm I'm just under one centimeter now, and um, I'm pretty much there for my uh, 0.5 centimeters. So I'm going to now wrap more wool in the same way as before, starting sort of here because I now have to build the wool up to go further towards the back. So more and more will um, be um, wrapped around that base of the tail. At this moment, I haven't needle felt it at all. If you do a nice tight wrap, you shouldn't have to. But if at any point you do need to needle felt, then just be mindful that you've got a wire inside that contraption here. So don't stab straight into it with your felting needle. Just um, add a little bit more here at the very end, still going in the same direction as before. You'll soon know if you've changed direction because the wool underneath it will um, start coming, um, will unwind itself. So that looks quite good, that part here. And remember, you can always adjust the, um, the thickness of the tail anyway if you want to go over it later on. So I'm just going to go a little bit further down to make it a little bit thicker from here and then working my way up so building the bulk more and more there and then I do one final little wrap here right at the end where it needs to be 1.5 centimeters I just use the end of that bit of wool and just go over the end here don't worry if you get your colors muddled up. The colors, um, are, they harmonize really well with each other. And because it is a, a space type wool, which means the colors gradually change, um, it, it will never look wrong. And now you can curl the tail in. Now, chameleons have curled under tails. So at the moment, just curl it in because you can always turn it round. But curl your tail up to... Um, the sort of base. This is is a good thing to do because then you also reduce the length of, of this uh, pipe cleaner because you're going to have to do um, other things with it um, shortly. So there's your tail. Remember it will be curled under eventually but you can work with it that way because you can always turn it around. Right, that's the first step of um, the chameleon uh, tutorial that we're sharing with you to make um, the whole chameleon, chameleon from our maker's box. So hope you found this useful and um, can't wait to see your chameleon hop off your felting mat. Bye.